Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. This is Ada the Garage, and I finished welding the seat. That's just primer on it. I still have to actually fully sand it, prime it, paint it, and get it complete, but I want to put it back on there just for this look. The plastic box there is the ammo box, which I'm going to use for the battery. So in this video, what I want to do is put the tubes into the rims around the old tires so that I'll instead of doing a one wheel peel which I'll show you now now these tires are old and I want to try the air can on them to get it to reseat back on the rim just for you know trying it out So while the air cannon is entertaining and wear earplugs and safety glasses, I do not recommend using it. The tire returns back to being off the rim. So this week they have tubes on sale at the uh, hardware store for 10 bucks. And you know what? I was like, let's get them. We're going to install these things. And uh, they're, they're actually a little bit bigger than what they need to be, but that's okay. But we can still use them. So the first side I'm going to try to open up and get into, I can't break the seal. I later on realized that it was rust welded, so that's going to be a totally different process altogether. Now here I'm trying to lift it up to make it easy on myself. It doesn't work out the way I think it will. I've never done this actually before, so usually I'm working on motorcycle tires. I've never actually um, worked on tractor tires or even... Uh, motor automotive vehicle tire to change the tube or anything of that nature so I finally got tired of working on the ground I decided to flip it up on its side now keep in mind when I do this the fuel is not in the tractor and the um, the oil is not in the tractor so the first thing we do is remove the valve cap and we start trying to feed it into the, uh, the tire itself and I have a special tool that allows me to both remove the uh, the valve inside the tire and uh, air out the tire and or pull the tube through the rim, which is which was amazing because when I was uh, getting the tubes uh, seated inside the rim itself, I was able to hold on to everything without letting the valve stem fall back into the tire. And that was a huge deal for me. Now moving the tractor into this position was actually a lot easier than I thought. In my mind, I was over-engineering it. I just braced it off of uh, where the seating column is. And that actually held up the entire tractor. No issues whatsoever. Now you see me here with the uh, tire irons. I have three of them. I have, well, I have four altogether, but I used three just to kind of get the tires to work. Now this is... I'm working with old, dry, rotted rubber, and it did end up working out where I was able to pop the tire back onto the rim. On the next side, and I did finish it, the battery died on the phone, so that's why I stopped uh, recording. Um, I had difficulty on both sides for the obvious reasons. But that being said, clamping the tire was what saved me in both accounts because I was able to hold the tire into place as I was able to slip it back onto the rim. And the same with the opposite side. I was able to clamp the tire to break it off of the rim bead, which was paramount to my success in this. Now, this is what the tire looks like when it's finished. There's that little tool I was telling you about, and that worked out beautifully. Now we're gonna air up the tire, and I was too lazy to grab the air hose from the garage, so I, and I had still had the air chuck I just basically put them both together, kind of use that uh, compressor as an air hog, and uh, we held onto the valve stem and awkwardly aired up the tire. <laughs> so I'm kind of amazed that uh, I actually did it this way and didn't break anything, especially the, uh, the, uh, the, the, yeah, you know what? Completely ridiculous, kind of funny. That being said, you can't pump these tires up or the tube up inside the tire to normal pressure being like 20 pounds or whatever the tire was rated for. I only put about five pounds into the tire just so it's still soft but firm. And um, that worked out. 
I'll be checking this in the morning to see if they're still holding up because on the other side of the tire or the other side of the tractor with the other tire, um, there was water in that tire. And I didn't realize this because like I compared both rims. This rim was perfectly fine on the inside. The other rim, as I said, had water in it. Don't know how it got in there, probably from the previous owner. And, uh, and when I put the tube in, I had to slide it through uh, the rim into the tire. I didn't actually take the tire off the rim because it was actually more difficult on that side. And I got it all done, but I pushed out so much water, it was ridiculous. Very happy I finally got this to work. You got to be careful because the tire is completely cracked, completely rotten. And this is just my way of giving a little bit of extra life to the tire. Because I looked online, and I don't know if this is an online price or whatever, but it was like 100 bucks per tire. I'm like, no, no, that's that's not happening. But that's how it goes with uh, the way things are these days. Next thing I wanted to show you was how easy it is to flip this uh, tractor on its side. That being said, the paint is still wet two days later. So I was kind of like blown away by that, but it is what it is. Now, going forward, knowing how easy this tractor is to sit on its side, I can actually do this to get to the underside to lube up the chain that just hasn't been touched by me check out the actual serpentine belt or the v-band belt and um get everything kind of you know do some maintenance now here's me trying to get onto this side of the tire this is where my phone dies because well i was at like 10 percent, 20 percent when i uh started this video and um yeah didn't last but this tire was a pain in the butt so by this time well the way through i couldn't get it to work so I just kind of put the phone to the side, and then I went to work. I did, did end up breaking this bead, and we were good. Hmm, what about taking that and putting it on top of this? So I'm thinking of chopping that off, building this so it ends up being on top of here. And then, uh, this has that mechanism where you can do this, you can pull this up, do that. Work exactly. Okay. So that could work out. So if I have the pivot point at the back of the motor, um, I won't do this or anything. It could, this could, mm, I'll do some more research. Or I could just take the easy way and put some, put some wheels on it and then have it as a pull cart. Never know. I may, may I might do that. That or what I will do is I'll build a platform for this right here so if i was to carry something on the back part of this which would work for like removing like for example cement bags and then i'll build this into a pull cart that's what i'll do that can i'm gonna make a platform for this and then fix that so i have to find some wheels for that i probably have them, some tiny little wheels i just slap on there But yeah, okay. So, new, uh, no dump cart. Originally, that's what this was for. I was gonna put this whole thing uh, underneath it. So this would be on top of this. And then I'd have a separate seat. That's why I got that. But it's not working out that way. So if you like what I do here, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And if any questions, comments, concerns, about the random builds that I'm performing, Please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, have a great day and uh, peace.